People all across the country are having a hard time finding somewhere to live, so cities are renovating old buildings for more housing. Chelsea Torres is in Charlotte, where an old motel is getting new life as an apartment building. The developer that bought this roadway in says there's a high demand for housing with not enough supply. Now developers and local governments are banding together to renovate old schools, offices and motels for enough housing in growing cities. Finding a place to live in your favorite city is getting harder. Because Boston has very little unbuilt land left, extremely little undeveloped parcels left. Whether you're buying or renting, cities like Boston and Charlotte can't keep up. Mortgage company Fannie Mae says the country is short nearly 4 million housing units. You're leveraging existing assets a lot of the time, especially in the case of the city assets. Boston approved funding to build affordable housing on top of a city library. And through a city incentive program, a developer will renovate downtown offices into housing. There's so many different buildings that aren't being utilized at their highest and best use. Emily Hubbard co-founded Sage Investment Group, which will redevelop two Charlotte motels into single unit homes. Obviously, it's significantly cheaper. Not only is it cheaper, but it takes a third of the time. We can convert these hotels in 12 months. If we were to build them from scratch, it would take us three years. Hubbard says there is a housing crisis, but developers and city planners are optimistic conversions could help the problem. Conversions are unique to each city. So each city has to figure out what are the kinds of buildings that lend themselves to this conversion and understand what's, what tools are available to each city. Sage Investments say according to police data, crime has been cut by 40 to 50 percent in places where they've renovated old motels into apartments. They plan to start renovations on this motel by the end of the spring. In Charlotte, Chelsea Torres, Fox News.